Now, prayer. I know that I I know that I bring a little bit of a difference in prayer. This is intended to be in unison, as it says. So we'll pray together. There are pauses built in. And I hope that you'll take the time. If you want to come up here, you're welcome always to come to the chancel and kneel. This is a bit of an introduction to the text for the day. Um, But let's pray together. Join me, please. Like the centurion, we have eyes to see our neighbors suffering. We have ears to hear their distressful cries. Our hearts are also moved by the same empathy and compassion. Join me, please. Like the centurion, we recognize the limits of our authority. Empathy and compassion comforts. We have experienced comfort transform tears into a smile, but we too cannot heal. Join me, please. Show us the boundaries of our authority. Bless us with humility like that of the centurion. In the name of Christ, we believe. But do we have faith to hear your word, trust your word, and reflect Christ through our lives? Join me, please. Thank you for hearing our prayer. Now we listen to hear your answer. Amen. Folks, I find that there's this voice that speaks from the inside. Sometimes it's a whisper. Sometimes it comes across as almost like a dialogue. Have you ever found yourself in conversation with yourself? Sure you have. And sometimes there's a voice within us that speaks almost like in a shout. I hear people say, well, I don't know exactly what it means to be able to hear the Holy Spirit speak. I don't know exactly what it would be like to be able to hear the same Spirit that was in Christ Jesus. Friends, you've been listening to it your whole life. It's learning to trust. It's learning to discern. And it's learning to be faithful. Because we get too caught up, and it's always been this way, with the things that we see going on out there, and the voices that we hear out there. Is it any wonder why God says, that Jesus says that the great commandment is to love God with all of your heart. That's where the feelings are. With all of our soul. You know the one that Jesus came to save? And that word save also means heal. And that word save also means to restore to God's image. To love God with all of our feelings 
and with all of our being. And then the third part is to love God with all of our mind. Those things are all inside of each of us. Sometimes we wear our feelings on our sleeve. Sometimes I'm too quick to give you a piece of my mind. But we really do understand spiritual things. It's a whole lot easier than I make it out to be. Now join me. Let's let our voices mend together. We'll find out what healing is like. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever.